What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. So OnePlus have started rolling out a new update for OnePlus 10 series which is based on Android 13 and this one is Android 13 developer preview 2 for OnePlus 10 Pro. So in this video let's find out what all changes OnePlus have done with this latest update of Android 13. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here you can see we have our OnePlus 10 Pro which is currently running second developer preview based on Android 13. Let me show you the software information by going to about section. Here you can see it says Android 13 if you tap on it which comes with 5th May 2022 security patch and if you talk about the version version is C.02 and guys if you are willing to install Android 13 developer preview 2 on your OnePlus 10 Pro then I'll leave the installation guide in the description below make sure to follow that installation guide because you guys won't be able to flash it on the latest update of Android 12 you need to downgrade your device and then install Android 13 developer preview 2 and before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed subscribe to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video okay so on the first developer preview we had basic ui but now there are a lot of changes done in the ui compared to the developer preview one basically it's a color os based on android 13 but one new add-on what are you guys gonna notice and which almost every oneplus users have been waiting and that's related to material you theming part so yes guys oneplus have been testing this feature which you guys can find it in the icon sections just long press on the home screen tap on icons then tap on customs and here you can see you have an option called match wallpaper colors which is still in beta phase it's not fully functional so once you enable and apply it this allow apps to adapt to the wallpaper color not all applications are supported as you can see here very rare applications are being supported right now in future we might get support on other applications too but this feature automatically gets disabled so let me show you once again let's go to icon section and here you can see due to some reason this automatically gets disabled on the previous build we had a lot of animation issues but i think that has been taken care now animations are pretty much good enough on this latest build of android 13 developer preview 2 on first update of android 13 we were not able to access shelf but that has also been fixed and we have now fully functional oneplus shelf this is how quick setting tiles look on developer preview 2 and we still don't have the icon of wi-fi so to connect your device to wi-fi you need to go to settings and from here you need to connect your device to wi-fi if you take a look at the icons in the status bar they have also been redesigned it's not similar to previous build and you guys will continuously see this error which is related to game space application the same thing used to happen on the previous build too so the game space application is not working on developer preview 2 also and soon you install the second build you will now see in setup animation or you can say setup screen once your device boots up followed by this welcome page where you don't get to see anything in the center this is basically a color os welcome page but on color os 12 we used to see 12 written and after the first installation whenever you swipe down the notification panel you'll get to choose between notification drawer and oneplus shell though you'll see this chinese text and bit of changes can also be found on the lock screen where you can see the icon of camera and assistant have been completely changed clock widget remains same here and I've also shown you guys on the previous update, this is the new power menu. Swiping towards the top side, you have the option to restart and swiping towards the bottom side, we have the power off. This is how AOD looks, where you also get to see a circular battery percentage icon. Now device fully supports 80 watt of SuperVOOC charging. So this is the app drawer where you have the search option, but it still doesn't have the support of universal search. You can only search for applications now. Few changes have been done here under the settings page where you can see the filled icons beside every setting. I mean to say filled colored icons and have better segregation but still you won't get to see sub settings. No new clock styles have been added. Everything remains similar what we have seen on Android 12. We do get stuff like inside Bitmoji and Canvas AOD. In future many things will be added guys and we'll see a lot of new features coming on Android 13 for OnePlus smartphones. You cannot change the fingerprint animations, soon you tap here, the settings page will crash. So you have to stick with the fingerprint animation which is set by default. And there are no issues to be found while unlocking the device using fingerprint unlock and even face unlock. Both of them are lightning fast. Under dark mode we have similar stuff where you get three different styles, medium, gentle, and enhanced you'll see this thick brightness slider in the display and brightness section you'll still see the support of o haptic on android 13 
and haptic feedback I personally feel is bit improved on Android 13 developer preview 2. You'll still find few of the icons not properly aligned in the status bar. Some minor UI changes have also been done with the camera application but still we don't get to see the support of high resolution video recording using front camera. We only have the option of 1080p at 30fps. So guys these were some of the changes what OnePlus have done with Android 13 developer preview 2 for OnePlus 10 Pro. And I'll also try to do a new video if I found more new features on this build. As of now only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video then do give me a thumbs up. And also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.